If you're a newbie, you stay from futures. You like to just come and make money. Mm. Learn that thing that you want to put your money. This is your money that you have worked for. Like, like how would you work and work and work and work and then you just want to throw money into what you don't even know? Your friends are already, they are already your own network. So you probably need to together. Mm. We'll spread, and you can we'll spread the network. Right from time, I had friends that we shared the same mission. Friends are ready to put me through. Mm. What they know, friends are ready to put through. Mm. What, what me I know. So that also helped me a lot. All right, welcome to World Creation Podcast with Chris Annie live here from Daba Studios as you're watching live on Daba TV. And you guys know that the Web3 or the crypto industry as we know it is an ever-evolving industry. And we have some personalities that have been making waves in the crypto industry right here from Africa to the rest of the world. On today's episode, I have here with me Dekunle. Dekunle, how are you doing? Are you, are you a musician? Are you an artist? <laughs> uh, or... Okay, guys, Dekunle is in the web, being oh. but I think I'll just allow him to talk for himself because I, I don't know if Dekunle is an artist or... Oh, so, which, which, let's, let's meet Dekunle. Who is Dekunle? Um, thank you for having me, first of yeah. all. My name is Dekunle. I call me Dekunle of Africa. And yeah, I'm, a, I'm an influencer, a web3 enthusiast, crypto trader, you know, marketer. I'm into a bit of fashion. I mean, I was into a bit of fashion, but it doesn't really live. Okay. You know, so, yeah. Okay, so talking about crypto and Web3, I don't know which one we prefer to call it, because I like, I still like to maintain the word crypto, so, but a lot of people are calling so, it Web3. If you say, if you say crypto, what, what do you ask you? What of NFTs? <laughs> it's still crypto, man. You buy NFTs in crypto. It's still crypto. Everything is still crypto. It's still, it's still uh, yeah. crypto stuff. Okay, so, so you prefer to call it crypto, right? So we'll go with crypto, yeah. yeah. Okay, so how did you get into the crypto industry? Um, good question. Everyone has been hearing about Bitcoin, like only Bitcoin, for like a long time ago. So like 2016, and 2016, yeah. That was at the same time MMM came. Mm. I mean, it was 2016, we had to go to 2016. Yeah. So I was like, I was still very, very young, but I had some couple of money. Interesting. The Kule money. We went now. Oh shit. But I had like a couple of money from my parents and you know. So I was like, oh, this Bitcoin is amazing. But I was about because me, I wouldn't be a social media person generally. Like mm. I wouldn't be an internet guy. Mm. Like my dad, my mom made sure like I got exposed to the internet like very early. Mm. Even though they were supervising, but like, I had access computer, internet. Like even up to last year, my dad still does my internet subscription, my internet subscription. Wow. Up to like last year. Like, well, you have to stop that. Right? <laughs> So, so I was exposed to like, a lot of things. I see Bitcoin, I see a MMM. So I had answers and uncles that were doing MMM. Yeah, I spent money with my parents, they give me what they say. Mm. So I was like, ah, okay. I saw Bitcoin, I said, ah. Guess the one I went for. Oh. The <laughs> MMM. <laughs> so I pushed the MMM. Obviously, everyone knows what happened, what happened to MMM. But it was not a lot of money, so, you know, I was still young, it's not my money. Don't say I work for the money, so. Mm. It wasn't, I wasn't. So you lost the money in the MMM? Yeah, so I like, went for it. So, you know, focus back on school, all of that. So, this time, I was already doing my social media presence already. Mm. So, so, this time I was like, oh, I think I need to go back to Bitcoin. My, I made a friend, and my friend now put me back on, like, you go back to Bitcoin, come back to. So, everyone said I was only Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Then I was, then, then I moved of those things. So, I came back and I was like, okay, put me on all, of this, all these things. My friend, the name is Easy. Shout out to Easy. So he put me on. No, oh, that's good. So once more, I started buying you know, sports. I said, ah, guy, I want to say this thing back. Oh. He said, no, no, this is that. So later, I started like, like I said, I like, I know how to use the internet already. So I started like, what do they call this thing? I don't know, I know what they used to use it. Like I could, people were doing like graphics. Design. Mm -hmm. I couldn't design at that time. Mm -hmm. But I had friends that could design. Mm -hmm. So I could like, I would like get affiliate for you were like an affiliate for them. Yeah, in a way. So I get like clients for them mm -hmm. on social media. Mm -hmm. So I was good in reaching out, getting those. Mm -hmm. So I get for them, they pay in Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. You know, that's like ah, this really makes sense. So most of our people that I used to specialize with, that I used to target them was like, you know, people that do graphics, musicians, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. upcoming artists, mm -hmm. do uh, music videos, contrast. Yeah. Um, album cover, all of that. So they used to pay in Bitcoin, all of that. So 
I was like, okay. So me, I came, I, just, I was using Bitcoin as utility, like straight up. Mm. So I didn't really care about buying. Or oh, selling, yeah. I was like, utility. So later I started like, you know, buying or selling and all of that. So like, along the line, then that we stopped for a bit. Then I was still, I was still in school this time. So I still had to focus and doing you know, everything. So as time goes on, I started actually posting about crypto, Bitcoin and crypto and everything mm. online. So it was growing and growing. And then there was in the five summer 2020. Mm. That was when the Uniswap came. Uniswap. I was like put full into crypto. Mm. I got the Uniswap drop. Mm. I think this happened was like a the turn around for a lot of people. Yes, that's true. I'm about to explain what a drop is. I love that later in the So, so a, a, a drop is like free, yeah. like free token they give you for using a, a maybe an exchange or a protocol and all that. So just get, they they have to give. So a drop they just have to like it's like saying like a thank ima- you. Ima- yes, imagine you wake up one day and Zeni Bank say all our all all the customers in Zeni Bank that has done over ten thousand naira in exchange, yeah. we're giving you one thousand naira free. That's what an airdrop looks like in crypto. So I got a new sub airdrop and that was it basically DeFi. So of course at that point there's no going back. Mm. So, like, ah, so it's still a lot of money. As for that time. So then continue cutting costing in England. And then I started then that was twenty twenty, then close about twenty twenty one. Then Twitter introduced Twitter introduced Twitter spaces. They gave like only a few people with iPhone was mm. to test. So I just opened the crypto space to uh, let's test the thing. So that Friday crypto talk, I just, I just opened it. And then well, a lot of people came and I started getting crazy feels of like those all of those season. Yeah. Getting a lot of followers from that thing. So every time I opened the space, people was only four, I, could, I could go like 3k followers in a day. Wow. It's like, ah, I said this thing is sweet. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I was supposed to start going. But I'm still doing that. Still not. Day. Yeah. I still do that. Yeah. I used to speak so that on the space. Yeah, yeah. Thing, yeah. That's that's true. Mm-hmm. So so for you, what are, what was your biggest gain in the cryptocurrency market? What has been your biggest gain? Uh, actually, it was some NFT. Um, was it loot? Yeah, loot. And you see, see what happened, yeah? It was loot NFT. Then after the NFT, they did, they did a token to reward the NFT with us. Oh. So that, the NFT went crazy. The token went crazy. Wow. And then another one came. They're like, oh, this loot, they did well, they are create their own loot. Loot. This is back to back. This is all happened within like two weeks. Wow. Then loot, then loot did their own token. Wow. And that was it. Wow. That time. So, yeah. Oh, this was 2021 or so. So, that's like I remember about the BSN. I bought a lot of other couples, but I know. Yeah, so. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they could, you know, tell us how much you don't do for this market. Ah, no, no. Why not? I don't want. You have to the watch. Uh, uh, yes, you can watch. <laughs> I don't want I'm robber. <laughs> okay, but you will know, you know, tell me after the show, then you, I'll, I'll drop my wallet address to him so that you can he can support. Uh, so, what, 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 what was your biggest loss to in the market? Loss, actually. A lot of losses, mm. and I'm gonna get to that because if you look at it, I started like utility. Yeah, I didn't really care about getting lost because I was using like the old Bitcoin. Yeah, and then the tax going to DeFi. Mm. DeFi I was putting for more money, twenty dollars, like, fifteen dollars, mm. and then you swap it was a drop. Mm. At the time, it was what like I think at the top, probably almost like ten, ten, ten. Yeah, K, almost ten, twelve k at the top. 10K yeah, at yes, the top, but yes. I at the top. Yeah, I was still probably like six k or there, but yeah. That time, so that so was even so early as self. Yeah, so at that time, we just this is not enough. We didn't have enough knowledge. Mm. So just dash us free money. Mm. Even them probably did not even have enough. They just like oh, they Let's tried they tried this thing and work out. And yes, thank people that help us use it to work out. Yes, so I'm not sure there's any major end drop that has done that kind of big as at that time. That's been mm. drop for yeah, that time for yeah. crypto. Yes, yes. Then after that time, there has been like a lot of. A drop. Yeah. I have many, many a drop. Then I was Solana. Then this is DeFi, um, DeFi Summer, as I'm saying, this 2020. Mm. Then Infop started DeFi Summer. Mm. And then there was Solana yeah. that came yeah. after that, yeah. backed by some of FTX and yeah. a lot of other investors. Like they, they even named it Ethereum Killer. Yes. So they wanted to, you know, so that one came. And then Solana already had a lot of VCs. Yeah. 
So they couldn't do airdrop. They already had a lot of money. They didn't do airdrop. They just, you know, launched. Yeah. They just launched. And after they launched, then there was then the other tokens built on Solana. So they used that one to do like airdrop. There was scope airdrop. Yeah. There was like a lot of other things. Basically, free money at that time. Like people, everybody was happy. It's VA, crypto. It was anything, at that time, everything you buy. Pumps. Like, everything you buy is good. Everybody was happy. Yeah. There was free money everywhere, they were, you know? Yeah. So I think that actually like contributed to to the learning and to to the exposure of a lot of people yeah. from our side into crypto. So they didn't come to crypto, like they didn't know a lot of things. No. They were just seeing like their friends making money up for and then they came to this they made money. And then by the time losses started coming in, they were like, ah, this is how you used to lose money. <laughs> they used to lose money, yeah. That's the first time I saw so <laughs> So this is why like I tell people all the time, like when they ask me, bro, teach me, teach me this crypto, this me. I said, look, I don't, I can't tell you to, you probably don't even make a lot of money mm. yet. I'll tell you to put this money now in this and this, and then you lose it. It's gonna, I'm not, I won't even be happy with myself. Yeah. You know? So I'll tell you, if you have a skill that you're already doing, or if you have a work that you're already doing mm. normally before, you can bring that into crypto. Mm. So in that, in that sense, they're not bringing money, mm. they're bringing effort, they're mm. bringing what you can offer. Mm. I think I will skip the part. At the time, after all those, this thing, you know, I like someone along that. Yeah. started, you know, the big community telegram mode mm. for projects. Okay, so let's 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 break it down here. Because I know where you're going to now. You want to tell us other ways, other services you were rendering. Yeah, exactly. In the crypto industry, go ahead. Yeah. So me, I was used to bringing it to the beginning. I was used to to the do graphics thing. I was doing yeah. it and so. I cared about the utility mm. in the beginning. So after I started making money, buying for small and all that, so I was like, okay, let me even continue. So I started doing Telegram moderator for a couple of projects. So I just reach out to projects that can be, I can help you, you know, coordinate your community and all that. So I was doing that. So I was earning money from what I could do. I could like get like three projects to work for and then work fully on those projects, mm. let's say for like three months. And they used to do different time zone. Okay, this year, I mean, GMT plus one, you get like another mode in like, let's say, Eastern time mm. or whatever. So everything was going well. So at that time, I didn't have to care about raising money mm. or making money mm. because either way, I was still going to make money from mm. what I was doing. Mm. So I that I think all the time, come into this place with what you have to offer. Mm. You know, it's like, there's no, it's, a, it's an entire industry. Yes. It's not just about to buy and sell or, well. or I pump and dump or this. Mm. It's an entire industry. Mm. Oh, I'm doing now is part of the industry. Yes. You're probably going to make yeah. money from Yes. You need to send money. <laughs> everybody will make money. Probably going to make money. He's going this. to sponsor this show. You're probably no going to make money from this podcast. Like a lot of people do it. A lot of things. People do designs. People do people be developers. Yes. People do like marketing. People do like it's an entire industry. Yeah. So. Hello, friend. Look at a maker. He's been looking for a way he can make money trading cryptocurrency. But he hasn't seen any yet. He has been searching and searching. He's been looking for a place where he can learn how to trade, no technical analysis and fundamental analysis, and also a signal room that gives him access to trades that can help him make money. Are you like a maker and you're searching for that? Well, I've come with a solution for you. My name is Chris Annie, founder of Dabal School, and are you looking to learn how to make money trading the cryptocurrency market? Are you looking for a short signal room that can help you, uh, give you signals that also give you profit? Well, look no further, the solution is here. Go to www.daba.school, get the trade and make money course, and you will get instant access to our signal room where we post trades. And tomorrow, you can now be like AG Rule who has bought a car with trading. You can be like Mr. Aoun, who has made millions of Naira trading. Or you can even be like Ada, who made her first one million Naira trading from what she learned at Daba. Join me, let's make money together. How did you market yourself to those projects? To those projects? Yeah. At that time, there were not a lot of people that could do it. Okay. There were a lot of people that even knew that they could do stuff mm -hmm. like that. Like I said, as I knew social media like that from time, so mm. like, oh. like my head my head made a sleep. <laughs> like, ah, these people. What's all? They will need this thing now. Yeah. Do you understand? So I reach out 
I can't forget that I like to look through. Like, I just look through. Like, even my friends, when they want to like connect, I have like, I like to meet out to people, you know, keep people. You mean network? Yeah. 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 Because they don't do my thing right from time. Because I know she'll get value to offer to mm. me. So I reach out that. I can do this stuff for you. Let's do stuff together. So I, can, I reach out to them. Let's do this. That's how it was basically. There was not a lot of food I could even build at that time. Mm. So it was easy at that time. That's interesting. Maybe as easy as now. Okay. But I still do it. So what do you think is the current what do you think is the current challenge now with getting a job in the crypto industry? In the industry. Yeah. Now um will I say about the I think whether people have plenty or not, you can still make money. Mm. Now, you know, right from time, Twitter has been this industry that is very unregulated, you know. Mm. So we take gamble. When I use work done, don't they give me contracts? Mm. And they say, I can do this thing. Yeah, they pay and okay, you did okay, I didn't need to work. We will renew all of that. So that's how it has been. Okay. So I think in challenge uh, to be honest, eh, I think I'm privileged now. Mm. Mm. I'm like a track record and all of that. Yeah. So I don't think me had a face challenge. <laughs> I, mean, I like that. To me, I like the honesty with that. But uh, for someone that is just starting out, mm. person man, you know, I have no challenges. Mm. But and also that time when I had challenges, I was really not too easy. Mm. So if you have somebody that could always, you know, a mentor or somebody yeah. you look up to, yeah, sure. Okay, so this is this is one of the uh, one of the big, um, ex or, or I'll say one of the big hacks in the industry where you uh, get a mentor, get somebody who you learn from, and let that person then from this lesson you're networking and for those of you who are watching this video please let me know what you're learning in the comment section okay let me know what you're learning in the comment section remember i used to pick winners who give me the best comments and those who follow to you the end so uh definitely we're still talking um yeah. i see what's good what goes on on crypto twitter as well for our nigerians so what is it you don't like about nigerian crypto twitter oh i should not lie oh, i don't really see all those things Okay, so, yeah, I'm too focused. Mm, I like that. I come on Twitter, I make educate my people. Mm. You know, I make my own post. I do my crypto spaces. I reach to my friends. I like that. And that's it. I mean, they see all those drama. I don't see. When people send this to my DMs later, or most, in fact, most people that do all those drama, I'll block them even before those drama because I see bullshit. I, I see people like that. So I don't really extreme see. focus, and that's a that's a very um. I think that's a very good advice for anyone who is a newbie uh, in the industry because that's a major thing you should get away from with this thing. You came here to make money, not to make enemies. Uh -huh. So I, I, I'm, I'm going to ask again, if you were not doing crypto, what would you be doing? Fashion or music. I know, so I don't know how to sing, but the music, and of course. As my bad guy. Yeah, yeah. I could be a music manager in all of that. Okay. I'll be in the music industry for sure. Interest. I, I don't they see him. You see, I, you, you need to come pay me. I'll be profit too. Ah. We, we need to open a music Re label. Record label. Let's, 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 let's open a record label. Since we get still in the studio, I'll be, you know. We'll, we'll prove you me music on NFT. Yo. Boom. Well, I mean, music money, crypto money, which one is better? Ah, it depends on, on your level. I'll be. How the industry is, you know. Okay. All the money I'm doing, then if you don't know, they're making bands. Same with print crypto, I'm making two. It depends on your level in the market. In the exactly. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. Hmm. Let me see. Let me see what I want to ask. Easy again. Easy. What's what do I, I say? Yeah. Easy. Ah, uh, yeah, but you know, it's my own person. I'm not giving you. I'm not, no, sharing. No, no. I'm not sharing. No, no, no. Thank you. You, you mentioned uh, so the thing entered my head. Uh, can I share? No, no, they share. No problem. Mm -hmm. and if I have you, I have everything. Uh, <laughs> if I have the pool, I have everything in this world. Uh, uh, they could not share. It will give us alpha today on this on this show. It will tell us the coin we will buy that will go there next. They could not which coin that So they come out with which coin I will buy. Buy Bitcoin. Ah, I have Bitcoin. Which one I will buy is Bitcoin. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the future of crypto for you? What do you think the future of crypto is like for you? For me or for like generally? Generally. And both, both as the case may be. Yeah. Crypto will always evolve, of course. I think. If there will be a point that, you know, I hope, this is on how is it almost everybody in the world, like we accept crypto, like there will be this global adoption. Mm. There's no lot of challenges, I can't lie, no challenges, you see this FTX thing. Yeah. Look at some, some was like the golden boy of America. Yeah. Some was on every false man's own, mm. every 
New York Times, one of those things was the youngest millionaire, all of those like, and then boom, from his million dollar net worth to zero to zero. You know, he was even sponsoring presidential candidates. Yeah, yeah, genius. So, was. so that alone set the industry back like probably like five years. Mm. You know, so there's a lot of. But then they, we had the Ukraine war. Ukraine war showed us the utility that could come out of crypto. I like that. Ukraine as a country, they were posting donation link. Yeah. Bitcoin and Ethereum. Yeah. Do you get so? I feel like that's the positive. They are the negative. Mm. Bank was no, banks were not working in Ukraine. People could not get money. Mm. But they could get money from Bitcoin and Ethereum. From people sending them. Mm. So that worked out for them, thankfully. And then there's America and there's Sam killing his own people <laughs> by trading. <laughs> now look at it. Sam was this money trading them. He mm. was trading customer funds. Mm. While we're losing those funds, we're losing it to another person in the industry. Mm. You understand? Yeah. So at the end of the day, they stay the industry. So people are angry at this industry. Mm. They're not angry about Sam. Yeah. Because people think that the money is still in your industry. Yes. So global adoption, I hope it happens one day. Mm. It might be far away. Maybe if you don't even grow it by that time. But hopefully it happens. And then um, people might be really against regulation. Mm. But I would think I'm very, very against regulation. It should just be, you know, minimal, mm. minimal regulation to be able to help people. I think that that's, that's even happening. You know? Yeah, a lot of exchanges now they pay tax mm. to the country that they use. They they start you know, follow some rules and all of that. So I think that that's good for the entire space. You know, I'm just I'm just talking about you know, crypto is a space that money always goes around. I saw the reason and the mm. So. I hope you know a lot of people that could hear me today and that could watch this video are gonna be like on the winning side. Sure. So and what do you think what do you think would be the future of crypto generally for Nigeria too? With what we're seeing now, uh, the government, with everything going on. Nigeria is, Nigeria is probably Nigeria is the highest volume of crypto in Africa. Yes. Mm. I think it's even like the distant like second second country is like it's very, very distant. Mm. Probably doing Nigeria probably doing like six of what the country is in. Yeah. So people are using crypto in Nigeria, like a lot. Yeah. Even even sometimes parents. But those ones now, when they hear something is popping, let's say using Doge now. Even my parents are coming, ah, what is this Doge thing? Your parents have bought Dogecoin before? Yes. Wow. My dad calls me, you know, for all those things. There was this Doge that time. Yes, 2021. That's when I started hosting those spaces. Yeah. So. Look, we did, we're not playing to the add those spaces. Twitter was testing the thing. Mm. They were like popping the real. People were even thinking, I mean, they should, I mean, like, they, I was the one promoting Doge in Nigeria. Yeah. Well, I knew I was not doing my space generally. Yeah. But because, you had word words. Because yes. when they come, like, yes. they need to see. Yes. And Twitter, like, was putting my page on suggestion. Mm. People you may know, people you may follow. So, like, so screen crews are out there. So, my dad, like, every time I open Twitter, people are on your page saying this thing. But my dad, like, I don't, my dad has a Twitter account, he doesn't check my page. I don't know the Twitter account. <laughs> Till now? I don't know the Twitter account. <laughs> Interesting. He done my phone, the Twitter account. I think he even was the person on that account, so mm. he did a new one that I don't know. So if he sees anything, you know, he calls me, mm. what, what, what's this about? So I'll just explain to Interesting. So, you, so well, if, your, if, your, if your parents are bought Dogecoin, I hope they didn't buy the top. <laughs> you not come for Christmas. Yeah, you come for Christmas. Ah, and like, you not come for Emeka, Emeka, you, you want where's my food? Which food you want to eat? The one you finished with us. Okay, so I want to ask, have you been robbed in the crypto space? Everybody has been robbed. Interesting. No, I haven't been, I've been getting robbed back since. <laughs> What's your biggest loss in that rug? Ah, uh, we rug. I took out a snow dog. You just lost ever. What year? 2021, December. Probably like first week of December. How much did you lose? Or oh, last week of November. Remember? Mm. Well, that's a lot. That's a lot of money. I don't like to put figures on things. People are guessing my. But it was a lot of money. Like mid, mid, five figures. Mm. Wow. That's some shit, man. 
For somebody who has lost money in crypto, what do you advise the person? And the person is thinking of giving up. Me now, just my example. The oh, I lost that money. What did you do? This was 21 December. Mm. But I told you that I was, I was hot. Back yeah. to back. 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, a contest mm. in a way, mm. like a pool, something like that. So the fastest thing is money, and that's why you're to money. Like, okay, whenever it happens, you know that, okay, within the probability, okay, this is what I'm going to use, like a worst case scenario. Mm. So all of us put money in the pool, and then the developer just bam, all our money. Drained it. But probably drain probably like two million dollars away from that. Gee. More than two million dollars away from that money. Even with the drain, that was you couldn't drain everything. We we're still able to you know, take out some of it. Mm. If you had if you could drain everything, probably gonna drain like five million dollars hmm. or more. This you can check it out, Snow Dog, that's the name of the project. Wow. There's an avalanche chain. Hey. Because at that time, like I said I was I've been hot back to back. Mm. So I had like connections in the avalanche chain. I was talking with like a lot of developers there. The only person that I didn't know was probably like the CEO that's a, or the founder, that's a. so I was back to back, so I couldn't even complain, you know. These people have, this ecosystem have rewarded me a lot, so I couldn't even say, oh, and this wasn't my fault. I knew the risk and everything involved. I was just sad that I told my friends about the only chance. Mm. Well, I was lost money and then we moved off from it, only like, oh, that was the end of the year. I was about to travel home. For December. Yeah. So that's my life. I'm sorry, but you know, life has to go on. And life went on. You know, thank God. 2022 was was quite a, a tough year because we had the beer market. Mm. No, first, we had that three major crashes last year. Yes. We had the. Um, nah, oh my God. <laughs> What memory is Luna bringing? Uh, I didn't, for this, I didn't have Luna. I had UST. Wow. It's stable. You know, I said to me, we need to like educate like ourselves. Like, mm. you know, mm. Somebody can tell her what the man that, oh, you need to buy any coins. Just buy, there are stable coins you can buy. Mm. It's stable, it's, it's pegged against the USD. Mm. So it's not going up for that. Mm. Just save your money in USD. And then you buy USD, and then you see your money. You think, trying to the USD. Yeah. So, there was USD, Luna. I was going to ask, was it the Ukraine war that happened first before the Luna? Ukraine war? The Ukraine war was first. Because people, were, people yeah. were panicking. They sold. And then we were like, for me, I took a big breath. Like, this is when crypto should actually function. Mm. So I was like, okay, I think I'm going to like stay, you know, buy tokens that I feel like are important. And within four days, Ukraine as a country started posting donations mm. in crypto. But the market went crazy. You remember? Yeah. The market went crazy. You went on full recovery mode. I think this going to be like 20% in a day. Mm. And that time, the market went on full recovery mode. I was like, you see, this, this is beauty. This is where it should be, yeah. This is how it should be. Yeah. And then went back on top. And then, one of the biggest industry players, the billionaire, started playing with, with the market, you know. And then, it was in, what was it? It was in Bitcoin. As a liquidity, I think to his stable currency mm. like that. Yeah. Usually, people, people, people buy, people use US dollar. Yes. As the liquidity yes. to their stable currency. Yes. Obviously, they are trying to peg US. I think he was using Bitcoin. Yes. And then he was to so do the backing. Do the backing, so we like got into a lot of problems, and it just put just inside that. I think people people have turned on him. You know, people turned on him. Like this guy, what you are doing is not yeah. stop doing this thing. Yeah. We can't do it. So we turned on him. And then it's backfired on it. Yeah. And then if you probably just spread the worth, let's keep what's this about to happen? Yeah. So let's just make it happen. Yeah. So it probably made the worst happen and everything went down. The corn. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. What was the market cap of Luna at that time? Luna went as, I think Luna went as, went as, as about 80 or 60 million. No, market cap of Luna. Yes. It was in billion. Yes. It was in billion. Yes. I think it was, it was, it was close to, yeah, sorry. 
Yeah. Was close to like 16, 18 billion or something. Yeah. Yes. I think it was in billion. Yes. It was in billion. And I was top, top 10. You know, beer market has so affected me that I was thinking, Jesus, I was so cooking one. But what the projects were running in billions? Billions, my brother. Billions. Like, yeah. Luna was, Luna was even close getting, uh, Dodge hit about 100 billion. Luna hit about 70 or 80 billion. Top projects were in billions. They were in billions. Because the so, entire market cap went as high as so two So it cleared, it had billions away from the market. After a key, market cap was, the top market was 3 trillion. Yes. So I quit market cap, I, I can't move up. So I know, cleared billions of the market. These are people's money. Yeah. You know, so people were like, okay, we will get one year again. So the ones they, they add, so let's say you need one in now, you still have to pay the rah, I'm I don't have Luna again. Mm. I mean, say the one I have, I need to eat. Yes. Mm. I, I need to pay. I need to pay this, pay that. Yeah. So people started obviously panic. Some market just went down. And market went up again. Slow recovery. We're like, oh, it's just a bad player. The crypto market is still good. It's just one person that caused that mm. issue, you know. People are still, you know, running up in debt. And recovery now. And then that was in November. Yeah, Wait. first week of November. It's only November. Yeah. First week of November 2022. Yeah. FTX. FTX. Even before they had all kinds of huge. Yeah. People, people have been done, actually, people have been making rumors about FTX. They were like, ah, bro, he has the government back in. Mm. You know, it doesn't happen. The worst. It doesn't happen. And bro, the worst happened. I should that in sent like the entire market. Yeah. Back over. And then deep close to like 16, 15. Yeah. You know, so 15. imagine from Luna, steady recovery. That's what happened. Crypto market was very, very dry. Yes. All my space, people look at what they come. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought that was NFTs that I was, that I was into to back up. Yeah. You know? Okay, yeah, market not good. So we're trading NFTs and all of that. So they sent down to until you know, um, FTX. Happened. Everything like went dark from there. Like, um, but the beauty of everything is that we, we, we just keep showing up, and yeah. keep turning up, yeah. Yeah. and we are like deep, deep into it. Yeah. So, so one of one of the things I discover about crypto is that was the market is not doing fine. Any class you are calling for, you will see crowd. Everybody, uh, everybody, <laughs> people, people, people move on. You know, mm. the space, the crypto space, move on on meta, on what is really, on what is popular. Yes, yeah. If people are say today, I know that people need to understand that a lot of aspects of crypto, if let's say exchange, there is time that exchange tokens were pumping. Mm. Like every exchange that had a token, yeah. you just buy. The time that, um, let's say, Uniswap, Swap, DeFi, Swap, swaps, yeah. Other Swap, Swap, Swap. What's the latest one pumping? Yeah. So, mm. This one, now I think is Telegram, but Telegram that bust and lame coins with the trading. Mm. You can't trade from that Telegram now. Mm. So let's say perhaps you know the invention now. People can trade from Telegram now. Yeah. Or on, on desk. So you don't even have to probably you don't have your you can have your phone so I'm not having like a normal one date and everything. Mm. You can trade from Telegram now. So that part of us really now. But in the next maybe four or six weeks now. Like mm. Nothing like mm. and that thing still in this space. Yes. It can be, you know, something else. Sometimes it could be meme coins, sometimes it could be, it could even be derivative of dead meme coins. Let's say meme coins that have died, you know, true, like a year ago, true, they start saying 2.0, mm. 2.0, mm. and they do it. So like the space is a, you know, it's a crazy, I call it crazy. Space. What's the best way you make money in the crypto industry? Is it just you trading on decks or you trading? I know everything in sports. I know everything. Mm. I said, but it's just that I've taken my money. <laughs> You won't tell us that what you what, what, what has taken from me, mm. taken back from me, though. Mm. No, 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 it's not future, it's the snow dog something. Okay, snow dog is that snow dog is on rock. So, yeah, for yeah, trading, like, trading like you know, no, you don't know what is coming, you know what you yeah. give you, you have, yes, money you lost, yes, with your own want. Do you understand? Do you advise any of you to start with futures when coming to no, 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 uh, even people that have experience, no, safe. So, you don't trade futures again, the whole thing I'm bored. Oh, you're bored. <laughs> I'm bored. So what's, what's, yeah, once a week. If you if you're going to tell it if, if you're going to advise traders now in the markets, mm. how should they structure their trading? Should they just do um should they, they should do features? So how would you advise them? I feel like one features 
if you eggs, know. sports. Give us. Let's say, let's say, for example, uh, you're coming from forex markets. Yeah. Obviously, you have like crazy knowledge about charts and technical analysis, and then you can do futures. Yeah. But let's say you're a normal, let's say you're a nine to five person, mm. and then you make you make money from your work, mm. and you say, okay, let me just try this crypto as a side. Mm. You know. I advise you, you know, you make research, you look for projects that you think. Like for example, now you see Telegram bot that people are doing now, you're like, oh, what? Let's look for the uh, one of those projects that offer this this service. And then the people make and invest for the long term. Mm. You know, at this point, you have your job, mm. you are making your money, yeah. you have a fee. Now it's just that side. You know, you can always come back six months or a year without being affected by it. Mm. It's money that you are willing to. So let's stay for mm. a long time. Mm. Well, if if you want to come, that's like someone that is side. Yeah. You know? But if you want to come fully, mm. so it boom your skin that you're doing, bring it on fully. So as your skin you there, so they pay your money, you collect from your skills. Mm. So if you collect your money, you're okay. And even and even if obviously you're not gonna get a job with your skin immediately, of yes. But experience, yeah, go to be there. But I'm just I'm just like you know. You are dedicating your show up every day, mm. you know, and dedicating your time and attention to this too. And you are basically just doing your thing. You have a group of friends or mentor that this button will throw. Mm. You know, just keep showing up as well. All right, so I'm going to ask you again what are the mistakes if you're going to do crypto again? Let's say if you're going to start crypto all over again. Like, as you don't know anything. You don't know anything. What are the mistakes you? are going to avoid if you're starting this journey again? Mm -hmm. To be honest, like I said, I had someone that I was putting it through. I didn't make a lot of mistakes. Mm -hmm. uh, but okay. still, I was still able to make, you know, you can never... Of course, you can be perfect. Can yeah. perfect. So, I still made mistakes. Um, or maybe you just tell us the mistake. For Is example, newbie coming in future. your world? Yeah. If you're a newbie, you stay from futures. My brother or my sister. <laughs> or your enemy. Or my enemy, yes, actually. <laughs> As just maybe me. If futures alone, if you are just starting out, you can start futures maybe six months or one year into your. Mm. Even now, if you can lose back all your mid in that one year. True. Still, you must still leave us alone. I think we should need to learn. People don't like to learn. Yes. We like to just come and make money. Mm. Learn that thing that you want to put your money. This is your money that you have worked for. Like, like, how would you work and work and work and work and then you just want to throw money into what you don't even know? Mm. You know, the bar. So you learn. On your own, related people, mm. you attend to classes, mm. you you know, make sure you learn. So, whatever you learn, try and avoid futures. I'll say it again. So, you learn, you avoid futures trading. Um, what else? Don't be greedy. Mm -hmm. You know, take your profit. If you see, if I think people should give yourself a target, you know, if let's say you want. A two hundred percent profit from something. Mm. If you if you are on two hundred percent profit, take your money and go. Mm. You know, because if not, you might still go back to. Don't wait until it's one thousand percent. You get set there for yourself. And if you think you you put a target on your loss, you feel like mentally, if you think you're okay when this thing goes to fifty percent, I, I think we should even money that afford to can afford to lose. Yes, money can because if money can afford to lose into something, okay, even if it goes back down. 100% yeah. you can afford to lose. Yes. So put money you can afford to lose. And if, but if you are stubborn, you don't want money you can afford to lose. Give yourself like a a, a target. So, okay, when anytime I use my money up to this level, mm. I'm going to like take it out and restart a new thing. I can put the money on. Mm. So, interesting. So, so research, always research well. Always learn to learn. Learn a lot. Um, Avoid being greedy and get the mentor that could tell you his own mistakes so you could learn from his or her own mistakes. And I think that's it. So succeeding in the cryptocurrency industry, get mentorship, take profits, avoid being greedy, avoid learn, being avoid futures if you're a newbie especially. Uh, avoid it and do all your best to learn. And so Dekunle, I'll be asking you some trivia questions before we, as we continue. When are you getting married, Dekunle? See young now. Ah, they could see young, but you have many girlfriends. No, I don't have. I don't have any girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 
Do I have boyfriend? Uh, why are you? What? <laughs> See, they are looking at you now. They are like, I don't know. We all find what they're be lying like this now. I'm, I'm married in my head. Eh? I'm married in the spirit. Where, where, where did you school? Kuala State University. Which university is that? Kuala State. Okay, Kuala State University. Well, I thought you said school in Kuala State. <laughs> okay. So they could uh, as we as we go, I, I know you you have one or two final words for our audience, those watching us, and maybe just want to share one or two advice. Those it's been nice having you on this podcast. It's been nice having you on this podcast. But want before you go, give us one or two words, prophesy, man of God things. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Give us give mm. us the charge, the motivation that will take us to our place of success. Okay. Anything, it could be it could be any word of advice for those. It mustn't necessarily even be crypto, it could be crypto, but yeah. generally as a young person, what are the advice you want to give to young people watching mm. today? Hmm. This is deep. <laughs> so this is deep. <laughs> this um my sound like it's been over over said, but I'll still yeah, always believe what I said. Hmm. You know. Like I said, I've been doing things since I was young, since I was like 16, 17. Yeah. So, always believe in yourself, whether you're young or not, or you're old. Just always be, be open to trying new things and make meaningful friends, like meaningful relationships, you know. Make friends with people of like minds. People that you think you guys have the same, same idea. Mm. You get let me say, let's say you're young now, and then probably like 18, and then you're making friends with someone that you guys don't even share the same, the same vision. It's not gonna help you along the line. So, think for me, me from back from time, I had friends that we shared the same vision. Friends are ready to put me through mm. what they know. Friends are ready to put through mm. what, what me I know. So that also helped me a lot. So, believe in yourself, make right friends, and others. Make the right friends of already networking done day. We see you, so you don't you don't need a big network. Mm. If your friends are already, they are already your own network. So you probably need join together. Mm. You spread, you can you spread the network, just like that. And then, what else again? They have to advise people. Save your money. Oh, money, cool, cool, cool. I swear. All right. Let me ask you this one now, you know, just a simple bonus question. Dekunle, what's the best place you've been to for a holiday or you want to go to for a holiday? Place I want to go. I'm going there soon, actually. Where? Maldives. Mm. I'm going to go there soon. That's your best place? I mean, I like um, traveling for me is, is interesting. Mm. So, I've been to Dubai, I enjoyed Dubai. So. How many countries have you been around the world? Only, only like five or six. Name them. Um, Ghana, okay, Dubai, um, Rwanda, Astri, Nigeria. <laughs> Nigeria, you do inside. I'm going to my gift soon, so that one can't. Okay, <laughs> okay. So I, I want to, I want to. Let's, let's. If you're going to get married today or tomorrow, are you going to? Are you asking me? Please, now nah, you're a small boy, now nah, I know. You say you're a small boy, <laughs> but we're talking about future tomorrow, okay? okay? okay. Okay, so so we are asking, okay, your choice of woman now, whether for girlfriend or for marriage. Okay, do you want to marry somebody who is wealthy, rich woman or a smart, hardworking woman to grow with? Oh, uh, like, are you asking, like, if you want to, like, be, yeah. have a girlfriend now and then grow with her? Anyone? Uh, do you, must the person, when is that time, must the person be wealthy, rich woman? Or just smart, beautiful. Yeah, I want to make, I want to make enough money I'll before you marry. Yeah. Okay, so you now marry some. You must. I don't really, I don't really care. You don't care about as long as you have a job. Okay. You yeah, understand? She's good. You have, you don't have to be a senior rich. Even like, if you are, I'll be happy to, you know, to, to have a rich wife also. But I, I don't think. Okay. So what's your favorite movie of all time? Um, uh, Merlin. Merlin, why, why, why Merlin? Is it? Huh? Why Merlin? <laughs> First, I don't really watch a lot of movies. Okay. But Merlin, you know, I watched Merlin growing, growing up, like I was very young then. Mm. So, it's, uh, I don't know, it had this, I was always happy to, anytime I'm watching, like my parents were, you know, they used to restrict you in a way. Mm. So you have to read a book. So let's say you watch like one episode or two now. Mm. And you have to like, 
what like to another episode, maybe that'll be like the next one week. Mm. So like I was always in got to what to use like, like that. Yeah. Interesting. So I was happy to So if you're lost on an island without food, water, without food, water and a compass or map, but we have ten seconds to call just one person to rescue you. Who would you call? And when would you say in seconds that will and why would you call that person? You are lost on an island, you don't have food, you don't have water, there's no map, there's no food. To be honest, I have more than 50 people I can call. Interesting. I can call you now. <laughs> I have like 50 people I can call. Nice. 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 They're, they're going to oh. pretend I'm lost too. This is the last 10 seconds that you can hear from me. I'm oh, shit. This, 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 this broke. This guy will be here now. If not, I will die. <laughs> <laughs> I like your confidence in that. But I want to I wanted to say, you see, your networking skill is something that I so appreciate in the indoor. Because man, I saw some tweet one time, some months back, where somebody was saying, man, they put thank you for linking me up with oh, this person. Oh, yeah. And because of this person I knew, I got thousands of dollars with this, this thing and all that. Yeah. So in the area of networking, I don't know, how do people become I social think, like I think, you just, I think it's just natural. Okay. For you. For a lot of people. Okay. When I was in secondary school now, I used to like participate in sports, mm. participate in everything basically. So I'm always used to that meeting people, mm. seeing people. Mm. Do you understand? So I I know like before I meet somebody, I probably like seen or about them. Like when I came here and met him, mm. I already know him from your videos. Yeah. I already know his name. I called him by his by his name. Yeah. And I was surprised. Yeah. I, I didn't know. Yeah. I did I've seen you somewhere. So I Remember people, I remember things. That's good. And also, I'm going to relate in front of national level. So, networking skill is one of the skills that will help you in the cryptocurrency industry. It will help you everywhere. 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 In, the world. everywhere. in your office, career, relationship, personal, corporate, and at any level. Even in your church, even in your mosque, okay? And at any level. They could thank you once again for honoring my invitation yeah. to be part of this. Who is, the next, who is the next person in the crypto industry who should bring our seat? Should bring you brought my friend Mr. Mati, correct? Okay, yeah, I brought with Mati. Um, Should you bring Daniel on board? He doesn't like cameras. <laughs> I'm gonna bring a car. He might do audio though if I convince him. Okay. But he doesn't like camera. Okay. Videos. Okay. Okay, maybe we'll talk about that one. Uh, on, on those who bring the industry, who bring uh, from the industry to this place. All right, guys, thank you for watching uh, World's Creation Podcast live on Daba TV. And to like come your way next time. Remember, don't forget to like, share this video, comment, and remember every Sunday live here on Daba TV. Watch World Creation Series where I teach people how to make money and how to grow wealth. If you're there, you want to learn how to trade crypto, make money from the cryptocurrency industry, get my course, trade and make money courses live there on Daba School, or any course that you want to learn. If you want to learn a digital skill that will help you gain financial freedom visit www.daba.school or you download the Daba app on Google Play Store and watch and gain financial freedom. Don't forget to also join my community in Daba 5000 where we mentor people in different areas, entrepreneurship, success, business, whichever one, okay? Until I come your way, God bless you all and keep enjoying. Thank you. It is not every young person in Nigeria that is a fraud star. This guy has made more than 30 millionaires from affiliate marketing here in Nigeria. Hi, my name is Chigoze Emmanuel and I've made over 30 millionaires from affiliate marketing. How old were you when you started making money from affiliate marketing? Um, I started making money from affiliate marketing um, when I was 16 years old. So, you're 19 at the moment? Yes. What inspired you to start making money online? Um, basically, what inspired me to start making money online was... Um, lack of money right i just finished from um, secondary school and i'd applied to go to university to study medicine but i think there was like a five six months waiting period i have to wait from my jam to the post period and stuff and i come from a very poor home so i was like how how can i make money while at home and i started researching for different ways to make money online i've tried different things i've tried uh, making money with soviets almost anything you can think of um making money online i've tried it apart from um making money online um illegitimately right and then when i, when I stumbled on affiliate marketing and i tried it and i made my first um i think it was 69 dollars or so it was really interesting and at what age did you make the 69 dollars that was at 16. Or 16, I made 69 dollars from affiliate market. Yeah, and then from there, moving non-stop. Wow. 
So what's the biggest amount of money you were able to make in a single week or in a single month? Okay, in a single month, I think I've made um, I've made up to twenty thousand dollars from a web web hosting CPA promo. Twenty thousand dollars. Oh, that's a lot of money in a single month. Yes, yes, in a single. It's not even up to a month. I think it was like a period of three weeks. So it was um, there's something called CPA marketing in affiliate marketing, and in like three weeks, I was able to make over twenty k. Oh my God, bro! I want. To, I'm interested because I want to be part of this. I want to make. More. I mean. I mean, if you look at this young guy, it's easy to profile him as one of those fraud stars out there that make money. But to be honest, this guy is seriously making his money legitimately. And I heard that you teach people how to make money from affiliate marketing. Yes. So when I started making money from affiliate marketing and I met my mentor, Kusani, he had to push me to create this knowledge so a lot of people can learn because as at that point i was not really into teaching people especially nigerians most of my testimonials then were from lebanese people in the u.s and different countries but it was like we can actually create um, a product and teach a lot more people there are a lot of people like you out there and consider that this is one of the poorest countries in the world there are a lot of people that would really need an extra source of income and we're like okay let's create something and we created the affiliate seven figure affiliate marketing mastery course and so far we've talked over 500 people affiliate marketing how much does it cost to learn from you it costs just a hundred dollars hundred dollars yes wow this is this is this is interesting so i don't even know what else to ask so what is something you've been able to achieve with this money you've been making um, I've, I've, I've achieved a lot the most important thing is having financial freedom and time freedom but apart from that i've done you know a lot of personal stuff so i've helped my parents in terms of my parents don't literally work they don't work so um, i've helped my parents I've, I've done a lot of things for myself personally as well that's really interesting so where do you see yourself with five in five years time with the speed with the way you are going right now with your life where do you see yourself in five years time um five years is really a lot of time but i think in five years i would have actually achieved more 10x 20x from where i currently am right now okay by then are you do you still have plans to go to school um definitely i have, I have plans to go to school maybe uh, this will not distract you no no definitely are you sure you still want to study medicine no, I don't want to study medicine again. What do you want to study now? Maybe something in um, computer science or marketing or something like that. Guy, okay, guy, I want to tap from this. I want to tap from this. So how can people reach you? Um, To reach me, you can just go to www.daba.school and get access to the seven-figure affiliate marketing course. So the beauty of daba.school is that um, any course you purchase, you have access to a community where you and the teacher can interact. So if you purchase the course on daba.school, automatically you have access to me. If you ask any question, I can attend to you. There are community managers and people. There are other people that have taken the course too that you can interact with. But definitely, once you get access to the seven-figure affiliate marketing course, you get access to me as well. You can also search for me on YouTube, Chigo Emmanuel too. Um, see some of the courses. She goes in manual. Yes, she goes in manual to some of the courses, some of the free videos I've done. Even on Daba.school, I have free courses as well. So for those that cannot afford the $100 course, he has free courses. Just go to www.daba.school. I think that's. Yes. So if you have like an Android phone, I think you guys, there's an app for it. Yes, we have a, a Daba app for Android device. We don't have app on iOS yet due to um, one or two issues. But if you're on iOS, you can just go to the website www.daba.school. If you're on your Android, you can go to the website or you can download the app. You just search. It's like an iPhone. You there's no app available for those of you that use iPhone. So what you just do is go to the website www daba.school but those of you that use android go to play store search for daba download it and you have access to this young man right now he's going to mentor you into success he's going to mentor you and you'll be able to start making money just like him so you're like 19 years old yes, i'll be i'll be 20 next month so you made up to more than seventy thousand dollars so far yes i've made over seventy thousand dollars from my flea marketing so far so far in the on the internet i've made over maybe two hundred thousand dollars jesus are you serious Hey! Wait! How is that possible? Wait, you're, you're like 19. So far on the internet, you've made more than $200,000. Yes. How? What have I been doing with my life all these years? Jesus. So, do you like, do you like make your money from your phone? Yes, I make money playing on my phone, my laptop, anything. 
Okay, so anybody can also make money from their phone. Yes. So yes. what's affiliate marketing? What is affiliate marketing? Affiliate marketing is simply selling other people's products and getting paid for it. So you find a product you like um, and you check if they have an eligible affiliate program to help you earn money by promoting that product, promote it and you make money. Wow, so if I pay for this course, I will know everything that, that has to do with affiliate marketing. Yes, if you pay for this course, we'll teach you everything from finding the pro uh, from finding the product to promoting the product to making the money and receiving the money to your local bank account in Nigeria. Wow, it's nice. So right now you're making money. Yes. Right now you're making money. Right now this guy is making money. Look at his smile. 